Hayata is a major NPC in Elden Ring and has an important questline that is tied to one of the game's multiple endings. Her quest involves Irina, Melina, Millicent, and unique rewards, all of which will be covered in this video. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. Now to start, Hayata can only be found after completing Irina's quest in Weeping Peninsula. You'll find Irina southeast of the Bridge of Sacrifice Site of Grace. Speak to her until she gives you a letter to bring to her father at Castle Morn. From the Site of Grace at the castle, take the following path to quickly reach Irina's father, Edgar. While you can fully complete Irina's quest by finding and defeating the Leonine Misbegotten near the end of Castle Morn and doing some other steps afterwards, you can also just attack and defeat Edgar when you first meet him. And that is the quicker option, so it's what I went with. There's one important note though, if you eliminate Edgar at Castle Morn, you'll need to reload the area and return to his spot in order to pick up a Shabriri Grape, which we will need later on. If you instead went through and completed Irina's questline the proper way, you can find Edgar the Revenger at the Revenger's Shack in West Lyurnia, where he will drop the grave upon defeat. Once you've completed Irina's quest, head to the lake facing cliffs in Lyurnia. Just a short distance away, you'll find Hayata. Speak with her and offer up the Shabriri grape and she'll thank you with the as you wish gesture and move on to her next spot once you've gone through all of her dialogue. You'll want to grab a second Shabriri Grape before moving on to Hayata's next location, and it's actually very close by. From the lake facing cliff site of Grace, head southeast into Godric's throne room, and you'll find the grape near a spirit that is clutching their eyes. To reach Hayata's second location, you can make your way down the cliffside tombstones northeast of the lake facing cliffs, and then travel north until you reach the Lyurnia Highway north site of Grace. Travel southwest along the path and you'll find Hayata waiting by the northwest portion of the purified ruins. Offer her a second Shabriri grape and then go through all of her dialogue. While you're here, you can go grab the third Shabriri grape, which is found in a hidden undercroft of the purified ruins segment a short distance southeast of Hayata's position. Hayata's third location will be further north, just a short distance from the Gate Town Bridge site of Grace. Offer up the Shabriri Grape and then tell her what the grapes actually are, human eyeballs. Make sure to go through all of her dialogue and then rest at the site of Grace and talk to her again to get some new dialogue to go through. And I want to emphasize that Hayata will not move on to her next location until you do those exact steps. Hayata's fourth location is at Bellum Church. The easiest way to reach this location is by traveling up the east side of Lyurnia until you reach the main Caria Manor Gate, Site of Grace. Then travel east and cross over a stone spire bridge, then head south up a hill to arrive at the church. Before we can progress Hayata's quest, we'll need to get a fingerprint grape. It's dropped by a hostile NPC named Vike, and you'll find him near the Church of Inhibition, where he'll invade your world upon approach. To reach the Church of Inhibition, you'll first want to make your way north to the Grand Lift of Dectus. From there, you'll have to travel south and make your way past the Frenzy Flaming Tower, which is basically the Eye of Sauron. The best way to do this and avoid Frenzy buildup is to take cover behind rocks as you approach. As long as the Eye can't see you, it can't hurt you. And I'm not sure if you can just continue past it without getting killed, but once you manage to reach the base of the tower, you can carefully eliminate all of the Frenzied at the top, and doing so will extinguish the Frenzy Flame permanently. From there, head south to find the entrance of the Frenzied Flame Village, make your way through to arrive at the Church of Inhibition. Vike should invade as you approach the church, and defeating him will reward you with the Fingerprint Grape. Also, don't forget to activate the Site of Grace in the church before leaving. Once you have a fingerprint grape, return to Hayata at the Bellum Church and give it to her. 
speak through all of her dialogue, and she'll move on to her final location, which is deep beneath Langdell Royal Capital. To access Langdell, you'll need to acquire two great runes. I recommend getting them from Godric the Grafted and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Then head to the north side of the capital, where a boss is guarding the entrance. We'll then need to make our way into the subterranean shining grounds. Starting from the West Capital Rampart site of Grace, head northwest and make your way down to the streets below. A short distance to the northeast, there's a fairly hidden water well that will take you down to the sewers. Make your way through the sewers until you reach the underground roadside site of Grace. From the underground roadside, we'll want to reach the first checkpoint or shortcut. Now that we have the shortcut opened up, we'll travel the rest of the way down to the Forsaken Depths. Just ahead is Mog the Omen. 
He's similar to Mog Lord of Blood and stands as the final and most difficult boss in Hyetta's questline. After defeating him, rest at the Sight of Grace and quickly grab the Erd Tree plus one talisman from the chest before hitting the altar behind it. Doing so will open a secret passage that leads into what has to be the creepiest location in all of Elden Ring, and I also think it's the most difficult platforming section. Before beelining it to the bottom, I'll show you how you can get these frenzied enemies to shoot their frenzied flames at the tent-like structures. This will destroy the tents and allow you to grab the items underneath, the most noteworthy being the Nomadic Merchant's armor set near the very start of the path down. I can't say if this is the easiest or safest path down, but the path I take starts with a single sprint jump near the start, and then non-sprint jumps for the rest of the way down. The one jump that is pretty tough is here, where you have to jump just right to avoid hitting the coffin above, while still getting far enough to land on the coffin below. Be sure to grab the inescapable frenzy incantation near the bottom, along with the fingerprint stone shield. Near the shield, there's a frenzied enemy that you can goad into attacking you and use those attacks to destroy the nearby tents. Under the tent, you'll find a note about Mikola's needle and what it does. After getting those three items, you can drop safely down to reach the bottom of this chamber. As a quick bonus, there's also a secret passageway down here that leads to deep root depths, allowing you to skip the gargoyle duo fight in the CO for Aqueduct. You'll need to hit a false wall and then a second false wall behind the first one to access it. But back to the quest, activate the Sight of Grace and locate Hyeta nearby. She'll instruct you to remove all of your armor and then open the doors to be welcomed by the Three Fingers, where you will inherit the Flame of Frenzy. But before doing that, listen to the next part of this video as you could potentially lock yourself into the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending. The way opening this door plays out depends in part on how far you've progressed through the game. If you inherit the Frenzied Flame, Melina will leave and you will be locked into the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending. If you already performed the ritual with Melina, then she'll be gone before you even inherit the Frenzied Flame. However, you'll still be locked in to the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending. The one potential way to escape this ending after inheriting the Flame of Frenzy is to acquire Mikola's Needle by choosing a specific path during Millicent's questline. I have an entire video dedicated to Millicent's quest, and you can find a link to it near the bottom of this video's description. If you have Mikola's Needle, using it at the arena where you fight Dragonlord Placidusax in the Crumbling Paramazula will prevent you from getting the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending, but will allow you to pick one of the other endings instead. To finish Hyetta's questline, you'll need to inherit the Flame of Frenzy. Afterwards, you can go find Hyetta in the same spot and speak through all of her dialogue. Then rest at a Sight of Grace and return to Hyetta to retrieve the Frenzied Flame seal, which boosts the potency of Frenzied Flame incantations. And that covers just about everything to do with Hyetta's questline. If you're still having trouble with this quest, you can reach out in the comment section and I'll do my best to help. I also recommend checking the comment I have pinned as I will update it with information about specific problems people are having and potential solutions. I'm working on guides for all of the major quests in Elden Ring. If you want to find those, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Wednesday, and as always, thanks for watching.